Hi, everyone. Welcome to this Day of Gratitude. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Bernath. I'm coming to you live from Chabad and DG in Montreal, Quebec. And the first thing I like to do is show gratitude to M Squared for this uplifting series of videos and the opportunity for me to be able to share some words with you, as well as my colleague, M Squared Montreal cohort member, Rabbi Josh Berkowitz, for helping me prepare this little presentation. The theme I've been asked to discuss is gratitude for the people that we're absolutely closest with, our spouses, our intimate partners, closest friends, and the ones who faces me at this time of social distancing. Probably my one and only quote unquote other. That phrase faces me is so interesting. It reminds me of a verse from Genesis or Bereshit chapter two, verse 18. It says, and God said, it is not good for man, referring to Adam, to be alone. He made for him an Ezer Kenegdo, a helper, a cross from him. Isn't that a strange turn of phrase? A helper, a cross from him, or literally against him? What does that even mean? Rambam, who's also known as Nachmanides, the early Torah commentator, he discusses how Adam was originally one. He was androgynous with two sides, male and female. Adam already had his helper, but they were attached. All God did was take that helper, the Ezer, and make it kinegdo, opposite from him. All that they could have space from each other and come together as they wanted. There's no doubt that by being stuck together at home, it can put stress on our closest relationships. We're used to getting space by socializing with others, and that's not just possible in the same way for so many of us. So how can we get through this experience with gratitude for our closest partner if it's such a difficult time right now? If it's easy for you and everything's going great, then fine. You don't need me to tell you to be thankful for your relationship. But even if it's not going so well, can you still have gratitude? And that gratitude will help you get through this and come out even stronger. On these same words from the verse Ezer Kenegdo, Rashi, another early commentator and probably the most famous and most literal of all the biblical commentators, has an even simpler explanation for the strange phrase. He says that if you merit it, if you're zoche, then your partner is an ezer, a help. But if you don't merit it, they are kinegdo. They are opposite you. They oppose you. I'm going to dip into the ancient art of Hasidic word plays in Hebrew. The word merit, zoche, can also be read as zach, which means pure. So if you're pure, if you're perfect, if you absolutely don't need any change at all, you don't need anyone to tell you how to improve or to call you out on your shenanigans, then your closest other, your partner, will only help you accomplish your mission. But if you're totally not pure, if you still have some things in your life that you need to work on, you're not 100% perfect and complete, then you can expect your partner to be connecto. They will oppose you. Why? Because that's when we need to be thankful. We need to be thankful that there's someone who cares about us enough to tell us when we're wrong, to tell us when we need to change, when we're out of whack, and we might not like to hear it, but we need to hear it. And our relationship will be stronger because of it. If only we could recognize it for what it is and be thankful that someone is telling us the truth. That 
is something incredible. When we have a partner who's an Ezer Konegdo, then we're not alone. God says it's not good for us to be alone. And an Ezer Konegdo, a friend or a partner who knows when to kick us in the you-know-what, is an anecdote for loneliness. And when things become good for us, as Nachmanides concludes, when God says something is good, in Genesis, it always means that it's something that is going to last. So my friends, thank you for this time that we're sharing together. May our thankfulness, may our gratitude for the challenges our partners present to us, may they be a catalyst for those relationships to last as a binyan adeyad, as an everlasting edifice. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Bernath, and I wish you all a fantastic day.